Hey, what is up? My name is Chris and welcome to Coding in Public. Today I've got a short video for you on HTML. I think HTML is one of those things that a lot of us just kind of mostly ignore and it's really easy to just throw a bunch of stuff in divs. You've probably seen sites like that. Maybe you've coded sites like that before. And so I'm trying to get better at using the actual native HTML elements and uh, use everything in the spec that I can. Uh, the first one here I want to show you is called highlight text. Um, and all it is is a mark element here. And you can see how it's just an inline element. And by default, it adds this yellow background. You can actually add a background color and change that if you want. Uh, but this happens by default with HTML. The second one is a native HTML accordion. Did you know you can do that with uh, just HTML? You can actually even come in here and tab to it and hit enter or space bar and it will open and close this. And I haven't added any styling to this at all. This is just the default. It even adds that little arrow to the left uh, by default. And all I've done is I've come over here and I've added a details tag. And then inside here, I have a summary tag that essentially is the title and then whatever text I want to be inside of it. And by default, it's closed and you can expand it out and uh, they can all be expanded together. So that is one thing to pay attention to if you want it to where when you expand one, uh, it's the only one that expands and the other one's closed. But uh, just so you know, you can have a native HTML accordion just with two simple tags, no JavaScript or crazy CSS required. All right, the next thing is to show some kind of progress. And there are two ways I was going to show you how to do that. The first is with a simple progress element here. And you can set a maximum and then a value. And it will show that value. And here in this browser, it's this blue color. This will be different from browser to browser. You can, of course, style this as well. Uh, but just so you know, this is how it looks in this browser. And it may look different in another browser. Uh, you could also use an input and just set it as a type of range and then give it like a min and a max and a value or whatever you want here. So if we made these things look the same, I could say this needs to be 100 and this needs to be uh, 90. And if I save that, you say they look the same in that sense that they're the same percentage across. And uh, I've added the class or the attribute of disabled here. And if I remove that, the user could actually come in here and change this if they want. But if you're wanting to show like a strict um, progress, then disabled is the attribute to add. You do need to note that if you add this in a form, this will not actually use this value when you submit the form if you have the disabled attribute on. Uh, so that's just one thing to note. But if you're just trying to show something in the UI, uh, these are two different ways you can show progress. All right, when you have a drop down list here, uh, you can actually predefine these options. And again, this will depend exactly how it's styled based on the browser if you're not adding any of your own styling. Uh, but all you do is you'd add uh, a list and then you have list equals and then the ID of the data list and the list itself that equals <laughs> need to be the same here. So the input list equals browser needs to be the same as the data list ID equal browsers. And then you just add different value options and it will automatically only allow the user to select one of these. And you see, even if I if I select it, I can now erase it, and that allows me to select another one, but it's not like a drop-down list uh, where they can choose another one. So it, it'd be the kind of thing where they're going through, they're choosing one. It has keyboard navigation automatically, which is nice. Um, so you get some of that accessibility right out of the box. Okay, the last one I was gonna show you is that you can actually group this, and I've done no styling at all on this form other than using these HTML elements. So I've got a form and inside here I've got field set and that is actually what wraps the, everything around with this black line here. And then if you add the tag legend, you can actually add a little title for the form itself. And then everything else in here is just pretty typical. We've got inputs and labels and they're pointing to each other. Now, all of this is accomplished with just HTML and the browser is just adding some default styling uh, to make it look grouped because that's what we're trying to do. Well, I hope you learned something in those five quick tags that you're probably not using. Again, there'll be a link to the code pen in the description. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. And thanks for watching. Happy coding.